You were talking about um, just negative feedback online. Yeah, a lot of it is not even constructive. No. A lot of it, most of it is people literally just telling me what they think is pretty. When I cut off my hair, that even still to this day, like I have an intense amount of negative comments of people who are not even like, oh, it looks bad on you, but people who are like, women with short hair are just... Yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's a lot of it is like just uneducation and yeah. like personal bias. Yes. So I get irritated with that, but I encourage constructive criticism. Right. Because I always want to be better. Yeah, but you're always going to get just people who just like to criticize. Yeah. One of my favorite things to do, and I actually did this the other day, was to go through the comments on my YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. And there's no greater cesspool of negative comments than, than on YouTube. YouTube. Oh my God, it's wild on YouTube. And, um, you know, and people will say all sorts of things from, I've had a few people complain that I don't wear enough makeup, which is weird. Uh, and then. Which is gross, but. Yes. We, I mean, yeah. whatever. So, so, but the greatest thing was I was watching these conversations that happen in the comments can sometimes be really, really interesting. Yeah. And there was this one guy who was posting all of these really aggressive, like, I hate women, women are whores. He even made some, like, kind of violent Mm -hmm. um, insinuations. And as I'm going through and I'm reading his comments, somebody, like, responded back to him, and then he kind of caved, admitted he was an incel, that he was older, he was still a virgin, he had erectile dysfunction problems, and he hated women because, like, he hated himself. It was, like, this whole meltdown in the YouTube comments, and I was like, whoa. And that was just this moment that reminded me, and something that we need to remember often, that these people who spew this kind of vitriol at you are usually people who are desperately unhappy. Mm -hmm. with their own situation in life. And it has much less to do with you than it has to do with their own experiences. So, but it was, it was, it was good to be reminded of that. But it was, yeah, Yeah. because I went from being like, you fucking piece of shit to like, oh, you poor, you poor thing, actually. Mm -hmm. You poor thing. There are a lot of people on the internet who I see, like, like you said, like sometimes like very violent, Mm -hmm. awful things that they say. And, and the only thing that I can think is like, well, I, first of all, I never like to, write off anyone as a just a good or bad person. I, I think everyone's totally agree I think everyone's you. people, you know? Yeah, like, and everybody's a product of their own experiences. Exactly. And, and yeah. like you make the choice to do something bad. Mm-hmm. Maybe at a certain point when you've made when you've continued to make many, many bad choices, you become then you just are that person because you've chosen that. But I don't think inherently that anyone is a bad person. Yeah. And I think the, and people lack just they lack the tools. They lack the tools to, to deal with to life. Be able to communicate. Yeah, like, and sometimes they lack like the actual um, psychological normal responses, right. like empathy. Right. Some people just literally, literally are not born with it. Right. Some people literally just don't know how to be compassionate. Yeah. And that's not a malicious thing. That just genuinely is one how they were raised and how how they came out. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. There are some people. There are some things that people just cannot learn. Yeah. Um, which is hard because I think that we, you know, especially, especially as of the recent years, like we live in such like, um, like a, an intense cancel culture, mm. which I think is positive and negative. Mm-hmm. Um, it's definitely spun out of control a couple of times. I think even still, I think a lot of, I think a lot of it nowadays is spun out of control in the sense that I think there are a lot of people who, made decisions when they were younger or said dumb things when they were younger that are now being reprimanded for Mm -hmm. 10 years later as Mm -hmm. an adult. Yeah. As if, you know, obviously some, there's not always an evolution between what you thought then and what you think now. Cause there are, you know, there are racist people, there are homophobic people, there are all these different things. Mm -hmm. But I think like, Having someone lose their job because they said an if, an if, something offensive about a gay person on Twitter in 2007 mm-hmm. is so is is also you have to think of the time and the place of where we were mm-hmm. in that that was a big part of comedy. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, oh, totally. And specific, like specifically about like gay people, like gay jokes still even today, but m- very much like. I think in uh, 10 years ago, it was like, it was, it was a very big thing in comedy and in just the world and how we all talk to people to be like, 
sometimes like very offensive. Yeah. Like I mean, overtly offensive. Yeah. We were definitely in a different place mentally and socially. Mm-hmm. You can't, I think I, I agree with you. I think it's unfair to hold people responsible, um, accountable for to today's standards to a decade ago, right. two decades ago. And also to the issue with the fact that the internet is now this platform where everything that you have said is now recorded for all eternity. I feel so grateful that I did not grow up with the internet because mm. I was did a lot of stupid shit when I was younger. Right. And thank God Twitter, Instagram <laughs> wasn't around to capture all of that. I cannot right. imagine what it's like to grow up in a world where everything you do is on permanent record. It's crazy. It's, it's scary. scary. It's very scary. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. And go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.